Facebook has become one of the easiest ways to make money online. And when you see what to do, the tactics to make money with Facebook, you're going to laugh because it's very, very simple. Now, what if I told you these posts right here? Take a look. We'll just stop on one of them. What's an interesting one? This one right here. Hello Kitty Lambo. This has 20 700 shares, 2,700 shares for a Hello Kitty Lamborghini. This post alone could have made this person hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. It's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of laughable. It really is. This one right here, 1,700 shares. Let's just keep going. 2,200 shares. What is that thing? Um, for all the people out there with recipe blogs, I've seen posts with 10,000 shares following this exact format. So the question we should be asking ourselves is, how does this work? And more importantly, how can we do it? And check this out. As you have questions, I recommend you join in the Maverick Forum. This is where I spend most of my day hanging out with people, talking about ways to make money online, including Facebook, right? But if you have questions after this video, join this forum. A link will be in the description. What we're going to talk about right now is the Facebook money machine, right? And there's two paths you can go down, two paths, and you can do a hybrid approach to make immediate money too. And that's what I usually do. I want to make money right now to recoup my expenses, and then I want bigger upside in the future. So let's have some fun and actually do the strategy. What are we going to need? We're going to need a website. And keep in mind, a lot of people don't even use a website. It's just my way of doing it to recoup expenses quicker. A Facebook page, image creation tool, and a blogging tool. It's really simple when you see it. So let's jump into the first example. This was the Hello Kitty page. Remember the one where they had the Hello Kitty vehicle? What they do is they create fake images, call them fake, they're AI generated images, so it seems like a GMC truck all souped up and people like it, they share it. Let's scroll down past like 20 or 30 of them and see if they have any other viral ones. We may see the Hello Kitty one again. This has 405 shares. That's not bad at all. This one has 722 shares, right? So it says GMC trucks always looking good. Now let, let's see, is there something in common here? Do they do just GMCs? No, I'm seeing a variety, right? What is this? What is that brand there? Someone tell me. I'm not a car guy. Uh, that's Is that a GMC? I don't think so. What is that, a Chevy? I think that's a Chevy. Nonetheless, they're put in different vehicles. A Ford Mustang, 64 shares. I'm looking for like a hyper viral one. But the point is, they are creating these cool images with AI. And people are attracted to them. And Facebook will reward you if you hold people on your page. Now, how you create those images is with Midjourney, right? Some people use Dolly, which is a chat GPT thing, but the really good images you see are with midjourney.com. So let's just see what this tool can do. Here's some examples. And the whole point here is as we're looking at these, which one of these are interesting that would make you stop and go, huh, what the heck is going on here, right? That's the point. You need to find two things. Find me a niche where people are interested in Facebook that are they're passionate right? They're passionate about this thing. Are people passionate about vehicles? Absolutely. They want to share it with their friends. That's the point. And then find the intersection of where people can also, you can make it with Midjourney and the tool actually does a good job, right? The tool does a good job of recreating a vehicle. For some reason, it has something in its database where it can pull out a BMW and be like that that's a BMW. Now I want to show you one more Facebook page and we're going to dissect it. This one is probably the most interesting Facebook page I've seen in a long time. It's called History Unleashed, right? Let's go back to the idea. Are people interested in they share history things? Yes, there's history freaks, right? They love it. They love this stuff. So they have 300, almost 50,000 followers. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. And what they're going to do, look, I'm just going to scroll down so we can find like a viral one. Like, let's look here. This has 6.6 thousand, 6,600 shares. That is, that's extremely good. You're making money with that post right there. And what they did is they created an AI picture. Who is this? Of Leonidas, okay, leading the Spartans at Thermopylae, right? Th Thermopylae. Is that how you say it? Nonetheless, people love this. People remember that show 300 and they're like, let's share this thing. He was 60 some odd years old and it shows how the guy looked. What is this doing? Let's just, there's more here than just that because the whole point of Facebook is to stop the scroll. Oftentimes people are gonna see a cool image but there's more and more cool images on Facebook, right? It's easy to create a cool image. What is difficult? Well, it's difficult to scroll past this without saying, oh, wow, Vikings or something? I want to read this. And what happens is the algorithm knows you have paused on this thing right here, 
right? And the algorithm is going to serve you more of this page. So it's a flywheel kind of feedback loop. They have it down to a science. They're creating good content, right? This is good content, in my opinion, unique images, unique text with interesting things. And people are sharing the heck out of it. But now we're going to have the real fun. I want to show you what I would do if I was doing this myself, right? ChatGPT is in the house. We might as well use it. Give me a list of 30 things that no one believes in history, like a freak event, right? The Dancing Plague of 1518, the Great Emu War, I mean, the London Beer Flood, the list goes on. 30 different things, right? I'm going to show you what I would do for a page like that and maybe do it a little better. And this is the next step. It doesn't have to be hard. Keep it simple, right? So I said, give me a table with each of these events. The first column is just the event name. You're going to see why we're doing it this way. And then a crazy headline, Massive Dance-Off Epidemic Takes Over Strasbourg Streets. Perfect. What we're going to do, we're going to copy all of these right here, and we're going to come to a tool called seowriting.ai. This thing is insane. And what we're going to do is come to bulk article generation, and we're going to paste it in. Just like that, it's pretty much done. If you want to use this tool, I'll have a discount in the description. I think it's Jesse20 or Jesse25. Make sure to check it out. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to make it so that there are pictures. AI images, yes. Number of images, three, fine. What do I want to do? Photorealistic is fine. Now keep in mind, this is ChatGPT photos, right? And there's a purpose we're doing it this way. Um, these are not SEO um, articles. I don't care if this ranks on Google or not. There's a bunch of things you can do here, connect the web, explore at your own pace. But the point is, what I can do very, very easily is click this button, run, and we're going to have 30 articles we can use. And just like that, we have a humongous article all about this thing. The massive dance-off epidemic takes over this place. And here's some people dancing in the street. Kind of ridiculous, kind of a little walk. You can see the buildings are a bit different, but most people don't notice. I think that's going to change in time. Then you have some, that's a weird image, huh? But the point is, you create an article with a click of a button. You create 30 articles with the click of the button. But pump the brakes because we have a major issue. Here's the issue, right? We're feeling good about it. We created 30 articles. It's cool. But if you use this image on Facebook, you're going to flop. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be so terrible. Why? I'm going to show you why. Number one, it's the wrong aspect ratio. This is 16 by 9, 16 by 9, right? We want taller images on Facebook. People are on their phones most of the time. We want it to fill up the screen. These guys do a square one, which is good. But look, compare this awesome image of this old guy with embers in the background. It looks realistic to this. It's not even close to me. So we, we create the blog posts with these tools as a landing page. And then we create a unique image to draw people's attention on Facebook. Stop the scroll. That's the whole point. And then when they're looking at this, you have a link down here in comments. You could just put a link, right? That pushes off to your page. And here's Bonsai Mary. I'm going to show you what it looks like, how you monetize. You have all these pop-ups everywhere, people trying to sell you things. You've seen these on websites. That's how website owners, for the most part, make money. There's many ways. But that's how you can recoup your initial money to buy followers. Because keep in mind, this whole strategy is predicated on you creating a Facebook page. But how do you get the initial followers? We usually go after 10,000 followers that we pay for. We're going for four cents, four cents per follower, right? So usually 400 to $500 to start up a page. And then it's all organic from there, right? But then you need to draw virality. And then you can say, hey, look, if you want to learn more about this guy, click this button. And they come off page, they come here, and there's ads all over the place. And before you know it, you're making $100 a day, right? So I'm going to have this this chart you need to pay attention to. This is how much money I'm spending per like on my Facebook pages. These are a few new ones I've created. And as you can see here, cost per result, five cents, six cents, six cents. I try to get it down to four cents. And this is the cost per follow or like. And once you're rolling, you feel good about yourself, you click this little button, express interest. Why? Because this is where the real money is to be made. This is Facebook's bonus program, performance bonus program, right? That is where you step into the big leagues because what we've done here is a hybrid approach. I'm going to bold this hybrid approach. First, we're sending people off to the website, right? Check out this blog post and you're making money that way. And then when you get into the Facebook program, this program, you can make a lot more money. 
right? It depends on your RPMs. RPMs is how much money you make per thousand visitors. But this program I've seen outpace typical display ads type of stuff. And check this out. I have a 100% free course. It's on Facebook, my Facebook strategy. It's like 30 minutes long. I'll show you what's worked for me. It's one of the easiest things I've done on making money online, right? And then check this out. This is the Maverick Forum. This is where I spend a lot of time. You come in here, ask questions, get to meet people. There's an incredible amount of opportunity once you start finding synergy between people, you start asking questions, you start helping others. That's what it's all about. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you on the next one.